name is Joshua Estes. I am with Bay Business Systems Group, um, and today we're going to introduce you to um, our newest product that we are proud to be partnering with, um, and that is uh, NetSuite. Um, we also have um, on the line with us panelist uh, Robert from NetSuite directly. And to get started, what we're going to go over today is a little overview about Fay Business Systems Group, uh, about NetSuite, um, the trusted leader in cloud, ERP, a traditional um, business applications and kind of how they compare to NetSuite, um, going over the NetSuite platform, and then a demo and any Q&A um, for uh, after the demonstration. So Fave BS, uh, BSG, uh, we've been around for over uh, 25 plus years uh, of our experience combined, uh, more than 400 clients. Uh, we are a um, Sugar CRM, Sage, Platinum Partner, and NetSuite Partner. Um, we do all of our um, programming um, and support in-house with offices in New York and California. Um, our focus is on CRM accounting and ERP solutions. Um, and more so making them a, a whole singular solution, which is where NetSuite comes into play um, as a you know, pure play um, whole business solution. So with that, I'd like to kind of pass over to Robert. Great. Thank you, Joshua. Uh, first, uh, you have, I prepared a couple slides here to tell you a little bit about NetSuite, um, the organization as well as the product and, and the markets that we play. But before doing so, I'd like to take a quick minute here to first uh, just share, share our excitement uh, here at NetSuite to have the ability to partner with an organization like Fay Business Systems. You know, having the ability um, to, to work with a national firm that brings uh, many years of a proven track record in the CRM, ERP, and cloud space is really exciting. So first, uh, you know, welcome uh, to the NetSuite family, and we're, we're very excited to start this partnership off. So. Uh, Moving on here, uh, let me tell you a little bit about NetSuite as an organization. And some of these numbers are going to change here real soon. We're uh, expected to report our uh, FY14 um, financials here in the next couple weeks. So uh, these numbers are based off of our, our last reporting. And uh, I'm glad to, glad to share that uh, these numbers are changing significantly. And we'll talk about some of the growth uh, here on the next slide. But as an organization, NetSuite is a global organization. Uh, based out of San Mateo, uh, California. Um, when this slide was put together, about 2,400 employees, but with the continued growth, we're well over 3,000 employees with offices all over North America and all over the world. Um, again, based off of FY13 numbers, we were uh, sub uh, $500 million, and uh, uh, when the earnings come out, you'll see that there's been significant growth um, for the organization, which again is very exciting. We help service uh, 20,000 plus organizations across the globe. And uh, as we talk about the platform, uh, we really are a global organization. Uh, we have a really unique feature set that allow organizations that are here in North America, as well as all over the world, to utilize our platform through multi-company, multi-currency, uh, multilingual that we bring to the table as part of the NetSuite um, portfolio. On the right here, um, I put together kind of a handful of, you know, who's who of, of customers uh, that are utilizing NetSuite today. Uh, again, these are just really some of the household names, but, you know, a, a really a beauty of the NetSuite pl platform is that it allows us a really unique um, situation that um, is different than a lot of our competitors. Uh, we just, you know, we, we have the ability based upon the, the platform to, to help organizations that are in the SMB um, but we also have the ability to play all the way up in the enterprise space, and, and that really is um, a huge growth opportunity. But, um, you know, we, we help organizations of all sizes. Jonathan, or excuse me, uh, Joshua, thank you. So this slide, um, I, I put together a slide that really shows um, a, a report that Gartner had put out. Um, Gartner is uh, an analyst that really manages our space here. And as you can see, there's something uh, that, that, that's really exciting for us. Um, you can see the who's who of our, uh, of our competitors out there, organizations like Sage and SAP and Oracle. And um, as you can see, a lot of them are well-established organizations, been around for many times. But if you look at, um, you know, where they're going, where the growth is, you can see that they're close to um, um, a, a, a zero or negative growth uh, 
so um, if you can see here, um, back to my point about the growth, um, we're, we're going at a 40 plus percent, um, which is really exciting. And we think that that actually will uh, continue to grow as organizations uh, continue to adapt cloud, uh, a cloud computing strategy. Joshua. So before I tell you about the NetSuite platform, I put together one slide to kind of talk about um, traditional business applications as we've seen it throughout the years. And if you're familiar with NetSuite, this is our very famous, we call it a hairball slide. And the hairball just simply kind of outlines, <coughs> excuse me, traditional business applications as they kind of uh, have, have uh, you know, kind of been throughout the years here. Um, you know, a normal organization, we kind of look at this, this is a normal business, and, and again, uh, maybe not all the pieces and parts, but at some level, um, you know, most or every organization traditionally has an accounting package where they would have, you know, something like a, a Great Plains or a Sage. Then they have an SFA tool, you know, a different tool for the sales and marketing folks, customer service like a, a, a Salesforce.com, and then different for warehousing and, and, and so on. Uh, how this was done traditionally, if you looked at the market 10 years ago, you know, it was you had CRM, ERP, very independent from each other. Um, there was really no sharing of data. Then as the years evolved, it became a nice to have. And then it's almost become a, a requirement to have front and back office integration. And you can see that a lot of our competition does that through um, through in a, through uh, a series of integrations, um, you know, uh, middleware, things of that nature. Um, as we know, these are very cost, um, not very cost effective, very labor intensive. As one upgrades, it, it potentially means that we got to touch the rest of the system. And, and uh, that's the world as we understand it today. And if you move to the next slide here, this kind of uh, leads us into NetSuite and why we're different. So. NetSuite is really the only true uh, cloud-based uh, yeah, full platform, and that's, what, that, that's where we're going to differentiate. We're not just ERP or CRM or PSA. Uh, we're really the entire package kind of contained within one true cloud application. Um, if you see here, you know, we're, we're really servicing all parts of the business from sales and marketing with the CRM functionality to core accounting to uh, professional services within an organization and wrapping that all together and allowing you um, to, to sell to your customers the way that you do in what we call an omni-channel uh, omni uh, channel delivery method. And that just simply means how you sell. Uh, most, most organizations will have some flavor, if not all, where they have sales folks uh, that are managing relationships. Uh, you may sell on an e-store. You may have a storefront. Well, our solution allows you to sell in all of those capacities and all wrapped up within one organ within one application. And the uniqueness is again, this is one application where some of our competition will will say, hey, we have front, back office, CRM, ERP. And again, they're traditionally growing through acquisition, acquiring different database um, 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 products and then integrating them, although they, they have the same name on the front, NetSuite is different is, is very different from that. It's one database. Um, really role-based, depending on what your role is within the organization. And because we're cloud-based, um, you get rid of all of those traditional costs that are associated with on-premise um, hardware, uh, the folks that it costs to support them, the integrations in, um, you know, um, soft, um, operation, you know, Windows licensing, all that good stuff. And you also have the ability, again, back to our global presence here, the ability to access the system on, uh, on really any device, anywhere, anytime access from any part of the world. So we think that as a differentiator and uh, as, or as organizations um, um, are continue to move to the cloud, uh, we think, you know, this is a really good option for, for many organizations across, uh, you know, across different, um, um, as, as, you know, the SMB and the enterprise space. Uh, Joshua, um, I'll go ahead and, and uh, kick it over to you, and we'll get into the good stuff for the demonstration. Perfect. So now let's log in here and view what NetSuite is all about. Can you guys see my instance of NetSuite now? We can. Perfect. Excellent. So right now we are logged into NetSuite. And at this moment, we're logged in as a sales rep. Now, as Robert mentioned, this isn't just your ERP system or CRM system or order management. You're able to access and touch and utilize all of this, of course, setting up different users with various roles and, and security settings. 
Right now we're logged in as a sales rep, and the first thing that I can see is my, my dashboard with my home screen, um, showing me all of my key performance um, indicators that I'm tracked on, uh, various reminders for items that I need to manage. Um, I have a navigation portlet for how I can get around within the system. I can view a list of a map of today's appointments and very shortcuts through the system as well as other metrics um, that I care to um, visualize as a user within the system to help me manage my day-to-day -day activities um, so that I can be the most successful. So what we're going to do um, today is we're going to go in and we're going to create a uh, quote within the system and we're going to follow this quote all the way through to a uh, processed order and um, a delivered uh, product. So I'm going to go to my navigation portal and go in here to quotes. And I'm going to quote a customer right now that, that I've just gotten off the phone with in relationship to an opportunity I'm working on um, for um, some products that they need. So I just got off the phone with Smith Supplies here and working with them, they need a, you know, a couple iPads um, internally um, that they want to purchase, and so we're going to sell them to them. So I want to add those items here. So I've got my quote. Um, I can see all of the information as it relates this quote to a customer. Um, I can see my forecasts um, and how we're forecasting this quote. Is it related to a particular opportunity within the system? Um, what items are going to be on the quote, billing, promotion information, um, I can also see all related activities. This is where we can track our messages, our, our tasks, phone calls, emails, um, files related to um, this quote and everything that goes into it from um, you know, an, an internal perspective. So we go here to my items, and I want to add multiple items here. So I'm going to search for my product. And when I go in and insert, you can see you know, my item. I can see the description of that item, our price, the available units on hand, um, and the, uh, the units themselves, and the, the type of item it is. It's an inventory item. We're going to select the iPad here. And I'm going to select the quantity, and they want three. So I'm going to add in three, and done. So now I've added in our quantity for this product. I want to go in here to see their billing information, um, they're doing um, with our, our net 30 terms in here, um, shipping, enable line item shipping. Do I want to calculate the total shipping costs? So I'll click up here in the top for my summary for shipping. Everything looks good. Go back here to my item. And I want to go ahead and save and print this quote so that it can be sent directly out from within the system to my customer. I'll click save and print. So now it's saving and printing out and sending that email. If we go back in here to activities, we can now see where we just sent that email today. Um, and I can open up and view that email. Same thing goes if we're tracking emails or activities anywhere within the system. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and convert um, this quote into a sales order. So now that we're looking here at our quote, I'm going to click on my sales order item. And we've got some more information here that we have as we change this quote into an active sales order. Um, I can update it. I can manipulate any of this information, um, but the customer is going to sign off on this. This is what we want to send them. Um, all of the information looks correct today, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save. So now it's saving my sales order within the system. And it's going to send out that sales order as well. So now that we've saved our sales order and it is pending fulfillment. So what do I need to do to 
manage the sales order now that it's um, pending fulfillment? And you know, does someone need to approve the sales order? Um, do we need more information for the sales order? Uh, I see we have a question here, so I'll pause for just a uh, brief second. Um, no, I, th I think you m might be on the. Uh, this this webinar is for the NetSuite demo, um, and so we're going to go through the again the, the CRM functionality, um, the the ERP functionality, the order management functionality throughout the whole system. Um, so now that we have this order within the system, I want to switch and I want to change roles. Um, so I can go in here to this role and I can log in as our um, controller now. So I can see um, a list of my activities and what I need to manage today. Um, do I have um, sales orders to uh, bill, purchase orders to bill? Um, do I need to go in and you know, manage any bills that need to be paid? I can see kind of my key performance indicators um, that I manage off of within the system and what we need to do from here. So I have my kind of financial ratios that I'm viewing and paying attention to, um, income by period by trend, uh, a lot of that financial side if I want to pay attention to it. Um, I can manage and manipulate this dashboard as well for myself. So right now we want to go in here to our sales orders to bill. So here's where we have our sales orders in the system. Um, if an, an order has been completed and we want to go ahead and bill that customer um, for, this, for this order and send it out to them, um, I can go in and I can select um, as many of these orders as I want. Or we can select a certain order in here and then click Submit, and it will go ahead and send out that sales order to be billed. We can see the information for it before sending it out. Okay, I'm waiting on this to load. There we go. So now I've saved out that sales order, and it's here within our system. Um, so now I might want to look at, um, from that order, now that it's been sold, how do we manage orders, how do we fulfill orders um, within the system, how do we process um, orders that have been billed and maintained. So I'll go back here to my home page and my dashboard. And we're going to log in here as our um, apparel manager. We're going to look at another portion of the system and how another user can utilize NetSuite from a different end of the business. So if I want to pay attention to my inventory and my inventory on hand, um, if I want to deal with um, and manage as a um, you know, provisioning manager within the system, um, items that need to be shipped out, sales orders that need to be need to be released, um, what's on sales orders, what's on order, what's available to be sold. Um, we can see those for each individual item within the system. Um, I can go in and I can you know, look at my items um, to order for my reminders or orders to be received. I mean, I can manage those throughout my day, updating, customizing orders, um, being able to determine what needs to be shipped out, when it's being shipped, who it's being shipped to, um, based on the other workflows throughout the system. So again, we're just doing kind of a high-level touch on some different use, users and use case scenarios here within the system. From a senior executive standpoint, I 
I can log into my system and I can see everything that's going on for my whole entire organization. Um, I can view um, and utilize um, everything that everyone's working on. Um, if I want to see kind of our monthly sales trends, I can zoom in and click on any of these within the system. If I want to see what we did and how we performed um, within the system, uh, we can kind of change our metrics. Maybe I want to see kind of a quarterly view and quarterly sales trends. Um, if I want to go in and kind of understand any sort of alerts that we're working on with, you know, late non-stock orders um, that I'm paying attention to or see our um, new business within the system, our average deal sizes and our average deals that we have. If I want to go in and look at my gross profit, I can go in and I can click on that for today. And kind of get more information as to what that what that number consists of and what it means. I mean, you have the ability to report um, throughout the system on your information. So if I want to go in here and I want to see kind of the reports that I care about, and maybe I'm curious as to our um, inventory profitability, I can run that report and I can see out of our products. Um, the percentage of uh, total revenue and gross profit that those various products or product groups have within um, our company and out of our sales. This allows me to better understand how we're targeting um, kind of our market, what's taking up the bigger portion of our market share, um, what we might want to focus on more as we go into the next quarter or the next year based on these items in this description and I can manipulate and change out um, these reports from here. I see we have another question. If you have different business units to measure um, P&L separately, can you do that? Um, certainly. Is that something you would like to discuss further? I'm at a different point in time. Okay. So with NetSuite, even depending on the user um, that I am and my security roles, I might have the ability to get into the system and visualize um, what's going on within my company um, as different users and as different user experiences um, or as my single, uh, single user role. And here you can kind of see a list of the different types of users and groups that we can go into, different areas of NetSuite um, as a comprehensive total business solution. Um, now, what I wanted to do is kind of take up the remainder of our time today and see if anyone has any uh, other questions as it relates to the system um, and uh, go from there. Okay, absolutely, Andre. Um, we can uh, set up some time. Um, did you, uh, when you signed up for the webinar, did you add in your best contact information? If so, we can uh, reach out and schedule uh, some time to talk. Wonderful. Will do. Josh, well, this is Robert. I'd like to uh, kind of chime in here, if, if that's okay, in between questions. Absolutely, please. Okay, well, great job on the demo, and, and you know, uh, I, I think you showed a, a great kind of uh, touching a lot of the breadth of the application, you know, from sales to um, the accounting to different parts of the business. And as, as I, I think people have seen here is, although we touch many parts of the business, um, it really is a personalized user experience. So. 
when Joshua was showing, hey, I'm, I'm a salesperson, you know, what I see my dashboards, the, the things that are, I'm, I'm viewing in the application are really unique to, my, to me, the salesperson. And that changes depending on what my role is in the organization. Um, that's really a, a, a nice thing within the NetSuite application. And there's many other parts of the, the, the application that we obviously are not going to be able to do um, based on time constraints, but you know, we, uh, I kind of touched on a, a complete solution including um, a storefront. So organizations that are um, selling via, you know, web, or excuse me, a storefront would have the ability. It's all reading out of the same database. It's part of our, our system here. And again, so whether I'm a salesperson and orders coming in from a storefront, from a, um, a, a, an e-tail site, all of that information is going to be contained here. All one, ver what we call one version of the truth. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. We're really just scratching the surface here. Uh, there's other parts of the business that uh, can utilize an application like NetSuite and uh, you know look look for additional presentations kind of covering some of those other parts of uh, you know the application um, to come absolutely thank you Robert and we most certainly will be scheduling more demos in the future going over individual um, groups and segments of the business that NetSuite can um, be utilized for uh, if we were to do an all-encompassing demo of the solution, I think we would uh, do it a single-day event. Um, that's how expansive um, and powerful uh, the whole suite can be uh, with that single version of the truth. Uh, but it doesn't look like we have any other questions today, so thank you guys very much for attending. Um, again, my name is Josh Westies. I'm with Bay Business Systems Group. Uh, thank you, Robert Vieros uh, from NetSuite. Uh, we're very excited about this partnership and are looking forward to um, continuing moving forward with you guys.